Let's go. Let's go and check this out. Um, so question number one says, uh, two boats start at the same point and speed along um, courses that form a 110 degree angle. If one boat travels at 24 miles per hour and the other boat travels at 32 miles per hour, how far apart in miles are the boat after 30 minutes? So the tough thing sometimes with here, guys, is we need to determine, you know, do we need to be using vectors? Do we need to be using triangles, oblique triangles, and so on and so forth? Well, in this case, um, it's, we're basically looking for how far apart are they after 30 minutes. So I kind of see that you know, we, we basically, they're not really giving us like any bearings or anything like that. So we can just kind of randomly draw these two boats. And our answer is going to be here, which is D distance. All right. So let's just maybe call, do they call boat A, boat B? No. So let's call boat A and boat B. OK. So let's do boat A. Oh, sorry, we know the angle, 110 degrees. And we know this one is 24 miles per hour, and this one is 32 miles per hour. Yes? yes sir. OK, that's at least the, this is at least the information that's been given to us. OK, that's how much they're traveling in one hour. That's how they travel. And again, we want to find D. Now again, I noticed this. I recognize this as saying, oh, this is, it looks like a triangle. If I can figure out enough information, then I can either use the law of sines or the law of cosines, because I can't use oh. right triangle trigonometry, right? And I don't have like a magnitude and direction. I don't need to use vectors of any sort. So I continue reading. It says, if one of the boat travels at 24 miles per hour and the other boat travels at 32 miles per hour, how far apart are the boats after 30 minutes? Well, hold on. This is miles per one hour, right? So if I were only asking for 30 minutes, that means my real diagram, the 110 degrees doesn't change. The distance, obviously, is going to be shorter. But this, we shouldn't represent 24 as the number of miles traveled, because that's 24 miles in one hour. So if they only travel 30 minutes, which is a half of an hour, that means they actually, to, purely, to actually represent this, that was what, 30? 32. So that's 16. So they have actually traveled 16 miles and 12 miles. Yes? Then yeah. again, but now we recognize, what is it that we have? We actually have. What should we use, the law of sines or the law of cosines? Law of sines, you have to have a ratio of the side length and an angle. We only have one angle. So we got to use the law of cosines. And again, we want to find this angle d. Now, since I, we have the law of cosines, like remember, let's not use d, let's do c. OK, let's see if off memory I can remember it. Hopefully, you guys have your sheet that you can verify that I'm doing this correctly. C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2 times A times B times the cosine of C. That is the law of cosines based off of my memory. I would love it if somebody would just verify that I rewrote that correct. Just flip around your variables. OK. So we don't know C. That's what we're going to solve for. A squared is, I'm going to do this in my head because I'm pretending I'm taking the exam. So that'd be 144. Plus b squared, I do not know 16 times 16. I should know that, though. 15 times 15 is 225. What is it? 256. I do know that. Minus 2 times um, 16 times 12. I don't know what that is, so I'm just going to write that in there. And then this is going to be times the cosine of 110. All right, so now. I am going to take C is going to be the square root of all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and take a calculator. Now, I do not like typing all that stuff in into my calculator all at once, just because all you got to do is make one little sign change. You know, you can make a mistake. Um, I am going to make sure that my calculator is in degrees, because what I, on your last test, I told you to switch it to radians, right? Because we were doing graphing. Now you got to understand my angle is not in degrees. So I got to go to my mode. Make sure I'm in degrees. If you're going to graph a trig, you're going to want it in radians. Here it's in degrees, so you got to be careful with that. So let's do cosine of 110 times 12 times 16 times negative 2 plus 144 plus 256. Square root answer. It doesn't make sense for us to have a negative, right? So. Um, I end up getting 531.335735. And then it was rounded to the nearest hole as the answer choice. 
I believe, was 81, was 23 an answer? Yes. Yes, which is C.